All right, Gamble Tower, let's check this out. Real quick here, um, see how the camera's moving back and forth even when I'm not moving my mouse? If you want to, you can turn that off in the options by going here and clicking Disable Camera Wobble, so you have it on or off, your preference. Um, we're this guy over here, we are, uh, Canson is our name there, and this is our little pet pouch that carries all our orbs for us. We use our orbs to fight the enemies over here as we work our way through the tower. Uh, we can also capture some of these enemies with the captured gemstones. A lot to take in, but we'll keep it going here. Also, I am the human class. There's also uh, elves and demons you can play as. So we're going to attack this guy for six. Boom. And one damage reduction because he has one little shield right there. He's going to attack for three. And he's a tank class, which means he's going to, like, taunt and, you know, take our aggro. But uh, also, the way the punch works, if I don't have any uh, armor or weapons equipped or any, you know, weapons, if I can draw one here, I'll show you to you. I get to draw more orbs, so that's why I keep getting more orbs from my pouch. This is my pouch, where my orbs are at. It costs mana to summon orbs, and I can burn orbs to get more mana. If I right-click on this captured gemstone, boom, it goes back into my draw kit there, and I get a little bit of mana back here to use another attack. And then we attack you, and the attack itself, boom, gives more back. Because the punch has this thing, description here, it says, if I have no weapon equipped, draw an orbs. It's a good way to keep your orbs flowing and keep your attacks going. This game can really get some... You can get a lot of attacks in one turn if it really just keeps like burning orbs and doing things that get you to draw more orbs and you just keep flowing them in. I can, you know, you can either burn over here, or I just right click to burn it and more mana and then we can attack you again and you, you're almost done. There we go. Now that they're down, I can use my captured gemstone boop, to capture them and now they're mine. We have captured the hollowing here adds, and it gives us this uh, gemstone that costs three that adds 30 armor to the targets and gives us tank. And you've got some gambling chips, which are the currency of this game, which is pretty cool. Now it's the first battle. Sorry about just barraging you with information about the game all at once, but there's a lot to take in, and I spent like 20 minutes going through the tutorial. And this is like the in-between areas here. This is the gambler guy. Well, look at Steebax here. Steebax is kind of like a little gambling machine. Uh, I can buy another capture gemstone for 50 uh, gambling chips. I've got 141 gambling chips there. I will do that because they're hard to come by because this guy only shows up in between here every once in a while. So I'll grab one of those. In fact, I'm going to grab two because they're, well, they're hard to come by. Yes. And then I'm going to go ahead and gamble 25 here just to see what random drops he gives us. Uh, we only got one, not the best luck there. Um, and we got both. Sometimes it can give you bad stuff too. It's a bit of a gamble. Um, apply tank to target, add five armor to target. Get a lot of tank stuff here. Let's get a trend of tanking stuff. Okay, that's fine. And then we have uh, this guy here, the pet pouch. This just shows you this just shows you what your deck is, your 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 pouch of orbs, and you can sort them by different things over here. No big deal. And here's the orb shop. This what this shop will be will be random each time. It's also random events can occur over here in between the battles. There's like three or four, maybe five battles before we get to the final boss. Um, and the demo right now just has like the first boss uh, area. Um, let's see. And here's like so. Here's the orb shop. Here's a bunch of different orbs that I can buy. I can't really afford anything right now because I spent all my money on the uh, crystal things, what they're called, gemstones. And there's also the orb removal service where I can spend money to remove orbs if I want to, like, unbloat my deck and sell stuff. But I got, or not pay to remove these things, but can't afford that either because I burnt all my money gambling at the machine over here. And this here is the gambler. He's going to, uh, like, you can either click on him to talk to him to do this or you can try to leave and he'll come up and pop to pop up and talk to you either way. You have to pick at least one gamble per uh, area of battle you go into, aside from the first one that you fight with no gambles, because it just loads in that way. Um, and that's why the game is called Gamble Tower. You have to make a gamble. You can choose one, or you can choose all three of these. Kill at least one enemy in the first round. Oh, I'm like, do I think I have the confidence to take out one enemy in the first round? If I do it, if I succeed the gamble, I get some bonus uh, gambling chips, bonus currency. If I fail, all the orbs in my hand get just banished out of my hand, which is problematic, you know, unless you don't have that many. Multi-kill two. Kill two enemies in the same turn. If they're not enough enemies, uh, we'll summon extra uh, goblins. So am I confident I can kill two on the same turn? If I fail, I get a bad artifact. It's a big gamble, but I'm going to take it. I'm feeling confident. Less orbs. Except for your initial draw, you draw one less orb for each turn. But if I do it, I get a uh, good artifact. I'm going to take that gamble. We're, we're, we're gambling big time here. You only have to take one, but I'm feeling spicy. You want to pick uh, uh, gambles that you're confident you're going to be able to do. Otherwise, you're just going to be hurting yourself for no good reason. But I think we might be able to do this. Depends what we draw here, but I need to definitely uh, get some good dress. All right, this this seems good. I did do one practice run before I recorded this because these kind of games, the first run is me just spending 20 minutes like reading the tutorial and figuring out how the heck to play. And it's very boring to watch me slowly. Because I, I learn slow, but I remember well. That's how my brain works. 
They're like, man, you read so slow, learn so slow. But yes, but once I've got it in there, boom, it's in there. I read in a way to retain, not to read quick. I'm actually trying to learn something. Um, so we want to make sure to kill at least one enemy the first round. I'd like to get two to get that done. And uh, we have less orbs to work with. Do I want to capture any these guys? These, like, they're okay. Um, maybe capture the goblins. Only f capture, capture the red guy. He's okay. Maybe we'll save him. Um, how are we going to do this? We want to take some guys out here. If we... I am going to... I think we're going to equip a sword. And it'll do 10 damage and give me an orb when I hit somebody with it. So we'll to equip that on ourselves. We use the punch to take out this guy here. He has 5 health and 2 armor is 7. But I think I... Uh, if you look up here, I, I'm doing 11 damage. So my base 6 plus the sword gives me an extra 5 damage. And when I kill an enemy, um, I unequip the weapon, so the sword's gone off me. And I uh, draw two orbs, which drew some orbs. Um, that's one. Got that uh, gamble done. The next gamble, I need to do two on the same turn. So we want to... Mm, I think we... I don't need... I'm not going to capture two this turn. I'm going to scrap one of these for some uh, mana. These are permanently... Uh, these, re these are removed from your deck once you use it. But if you uh, right-click to burn it, it just goes back in to grab it later. No big deal. I'm going to equip another sword here. And then we are going to uh, scrap, uh, I think, hmm, one of the attacks here. And then we are going to take out a second one, I think. You guys have 11, if I can do 11, so we can take out one of you guys. There we go. And just like that, we've got uh, two of our gambles done. We got some, uh, got some chips for that. And then I need to win with uh, having less orbs here. Um, hmm. Getting 30 armor to myself would make me not take damage would be good. Um, I don't think I can take these guys out in one turn, so I'm actually going to do that. We're going to scrap all this, give ourselves this. Also, my the run I did last time, I had, I had, a, I had a sweet build. <laughs> I wish I could have uh, made content out of it. It was a great build, but unfortunately it's... It was just... I, uh, I, t I take so long to like read and study the tutorials, learn it well, that's just real boring, basically. Alright, so also, if I don't equip a weapon, I just keep drawing orbs. I think I said that already, so I can, like, bop you. Gives me another orb to use. I can bop you again. Another orb to use, which kind of gives me more mana. Also, a helmet I can equip to give myself um, uh, armor and defense. Um, defense is this right here. It's like a damage reducer. So if, the, if he attacks me with seven, let's say I had three, seven minus three would be four damage actually dealt to this. Armor is this little protective coating on the right side of the heart here that says 18. That 18 is like this stuff right here. That just like, it's like just the way you think a shield would be. Like, oh, his, right now I have zero armor. So his seven will hit my 18, which will take that down to 11. This is how that. So basically def defense reduces the incoming damage and uh, the armor protects my health a little bit. And you got 11 health. Can I take out this turn? Probably, right? Um, I don't need, I don't think I need this right now. I'm just scrap it for some mana. And we can just go ahead and scrap that and equip this and take you out in one hit here. Yeah, the question is, do I want to grab one of you guys with this? Um, hmm. You apply weak. And I, don't, I think these are kind of like mid units. We're going to not pa we're gonna pass. I want to turn them into my summons. And here we got the fog machine. This is the reward for the, one of those uh, things we had there, the gambles. And... This game has a neat mechanic with the relics. Relics are up here. I started with this relic here. Is that um, relics can be turned into orbs, and the orbs are, like, slightly better than the relic, but you have to, like, wait until they come into your deck and then, you know, use them kind of thing. So the the relic I got here was um, the Fog Machine. So at the start of a turn, apply one Protected, which means you take no damage on for one hit, um, just like damage immunity for one attack. Or I can turn it into a uh, orb. I can choose the orb version of it, which um, gives three protected to a random ally, but I don't get it at like the start of the battle, um, and it does and it soaks up a draw point. I think I'm I'm guessing in general orbs are better, but the downside of this is it counts as like a, a class related thing, and some um, gambles are related to class. But we'll choose the orb, just to mix it up, and we'll go into the in between rounds. That's like the second of like four or five battles you'll see here in this video. Another combat. Because my character... I don't know how to check my character's info. Where is it? Um, here we go. I, when you start the game, you choose which uh, class you want. And you can, like, re-roll for different, like, you know, different names, different pictures, different uh, starting artifacts, different traits, whatever. And I, I chose this guy. 
and then you choose uh, your little, you know, pouch carrying dude. I should probably make a point to wear helmets because I get gambling chips if I do for doing that. But I keep forgetting. I could be getting bonus money every fight. Make sure to wear my helmets. And um, but the one of his traits is aggressive. Event rooms are always random combats. This is an event room. Normally, there's different things you can like go in there, get pick one or three chests. You might get some mimics, or you might find a trap and like grab something from the trap, take damage, but to get the reward. But because of this guy's trait, um, it's always gonna be a combat for me. So that's that's what's gonna be here. But I'm curious uh, what I'm gonna get for fighting the combat. So I won't be able to showcase all the different random things you can get in here, but you get the idea. You go to the event room, event room, and random things happen. Um, the question is, do I get something good? I already have it. One tank, dude. I'm not sure I want to summon a goblin. Tempted though, so I can apply three protect on myself using the artifact. First turn, nice. So I can get three hits of immunity here. Um, I should probably equip the helmet just to like get the bonus at the end. Unless, although I think if they take the ten sheet, ten armor there, it breaks off my head. Maybe. Um, I'm just gonna use that for mana. Um, hmm. This guy's gonna tank me. I'm gonna equip this sword. Scrap this sword. We're gonna attack you. Probably should have done an empty attack first, and uh, we'll just end turn there. They'll attack us, and because I've protected three, they won't be able to hurt me at all. No damage. I have three protected. Normally, you, you would be able to attack those goblins in the back first, less hit points, but this guy has, like, tank, the, you know, taunt thing that forces you to attack them, so, like, you know, it won't. It's not going to let me, I don't think. I mean, I can try. But it's not supposed to let me, though. Yeah, it cannot be targeted, but we'll try. Hmm. Tanked ourselves because it's more armor. Um. I mean, can I take you out this turn? Maybe. We. Just work on you. There we go. Good hits. I mean, I can try attacking you, but. Yeah, it doesn't let me. And get the tank out of here. So we got 10 damage coming in. My armor protects that. Um. I guess we can probably take one of these guys out here. I want to get another. One of these things are not bad. I could, I'm just gonna crystallize him. I think that's a decent thing to have. I can always sell it too if I want to. Um, let's go ahead and have you take this guy out here. There we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. Well, that's fine. Scrap this. Thought I had my sword slam, but obviously I didn't because I took that guy out. Um, I have a helmet on. I don't need you. I don't feel like I need that right now. Or this. Just go ahead and work on this fella here. And there we go. Job done. Random counter one. All I got was some. Is that it? Some some chips. Nothing else. Hmm. All right. So I, I was I was hoping I get a, a random bonus. So this guy's um aggressive trait. Uh, so that's actually like so the random combats. It's not even worth going in there if the random combats just give me like twenty seven chips. Hardly worth it, right? Good practice, I guess. So getting plus one base attack is pretty strong. Apparently, if you have to completely give up getting a, a bonus event rooms, but hey, live and learn. Uh, you know, price reward. Won't be able to showcase the event rooms, but hey, the demo's free on Steam right now. You can check it out yourself if you want to. Keep Watch the rest of the video first, right? Um, so this this is the... Um, what's this room called? Uh, this is the, There's like three different shop types. There's the crystal specialist. They sell upgrade crystals I can use to attach to... Get, my, get that tooltip off there. To uh, upgrade my orbs, which is good, depending on what you get here. So cloning crystal. So this, uh, um, I can, so this right here shows what types of orbs I can put it on. I can put it on any type of orb. It only goes on one. This here can only get put onto an attack orb. So I can spend 50 of my gambling chips to make uh, to attach this crystal to one of my attack orbs to make it deal seven more damage, which is not bad. I'm gonna take that. In doesn't matter. Just put on. The, they're all the same. Put on that one. Yep. Now I'll do uh, I guess 12 damage now. And the way the, the attack, the way those work, it takes the number on there adds it to this number up here, so if the attack is like 7 on there, plus 5 is 12 damage. It adds to this. Um, cloning Crystal, on use, copies itself without upgrades. Copy last, so, ah. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and, what do I want more of? To like, what do I want more of in my deck? Ooh. I could give myself, that seems a pretty good thing to uh, uh, clone. A zero cost that gives me protected 3, yeah. Um, I can... I can actually do it. Oh, I don't have enough money. All right, never mind. I can't do it. I was gonna, I was gonna say I could probably do it twice in the same one, and just get more of that. And now, if you want to, you can click straight here and don't even click the gambler, but he'll still pop up anyways. Um, can I choose at least one gamble. Hmm. <laughs> one game required. Underpowered. Win without making your mana go higher than four. I could probably do that. Captured. Succeeded. Captured gemstone. If failed, lose 100 chips. I mean, 
I could use another captured gemstone. It'd be fine. Not that I'm using my summons that much. The human class I find is actually pretty strong without using summons. But I mean, whatever. Keep it spicy. Ooh, getting a good actor. Every enemy starts with a backstab skill, which means um, I can't use summons to like block in front of me. They can just go straight to attack me in the back. But that's fine. Um, I'm not really summoning much aims with the, with the human class. Uh, when using orbs from only one clan. Ooh, this is a little bit trickier. Include neutral orbs as a different clan. So I can only use things that have the human clan on it. If I fail, I lose 25 hit points. But keep it spicy. We're doing all three. Make it interesting. That's going to make things harder, though, because my artifact, I believe, is not from the human clan. Uh, the, uh, the artifact orbs, we can't actually use that. Like this right here, it's neutral. So if I use this, um, I will lose this. Now, the protected it gives me actually will protect me from that punish mix. I messed up last my, my last run. I was practicing and did that, so I can choose here. If I feel in trouble, I can use it and just stop the damage. Um, I wanted to test it out, but I think we'll just have to we'll take the damage. It'll be fine. Um, we can always just shield up a little bit. I need to make sure I don't go above four mana. They do have the backstab. We'll do that for a little bit of armor. Um... Tank. I don't worry about tank. Adding five armor would be okay. Hmm. What are we gonna do here? I could punch and draw something new, or I could do this. I could. Uh, I think we equip this. I said we equip this. If I hover it in the right spot. Uh, we drop uh, this for now. We'll probably draw more later. And who do we want to take out here? Who's gonna do the most damage to us? Um, twelve. I got. I can only do eleven damage, so I can't take you out in one hit. I think uh, you're the biggest problem, right? Get, oh, well, you actually click it properly. Get you up here. Take you out. There we go. Now we got another one of these. That's actually pretty good. If I scrap this and this, I can do two attacks for six, deal 12 damage, and take you out. That's pretty good. So, we're, or I could. No, yeah, that's actually better. Scrap this. Scrap this. And we'll hit you like this. Seven. Why did I do seven? It's, oh, because it's six plus one. So you add this number on the top left to this. Also, I should look out for that one that has more. Would be smart. Get rid of you. There we go. And I can't afford this, but I can do that and then get an extra attack in on this turn. And you're no good to me right now, so we just end turn. All right. Doing pretty well here. Got a little bit of armor there. Why don't you only do one damage? Oh, because I have four... I forgot. I have four, uh, sh uh, four shield from... I got 10 armor and 4 shield there. So, I think we're looking pretty good here. I'm just going to punch him down to end it really quick. I think we're doing pretty good. I might just crystallize the goblins just to see what they do. Just I just want to know. Probably not a very good grab, but I wanted to know. It's just a 510. It's not it's, it's nothing amazing. I should have known as much, but I wanted to just wanted to see. Um, a little deck bloat, I guess. I guess I can summon it to show up. No, 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 no. Wait. Am I going to get punished for summoning some... Uh, Mana go higher, backstab. No, no, I can, sh I can summon. Wait, what? Ah, I'm so stupid. Clan exclusive. All right, whatever. Well, now, now you see, it's it's good to showcase what happens when that happens. Now you know. Now you know what happens when you fail a gamble. I showed it to you. I literally checked it too, and just didn't read the bottom one. <laughs> Ooh, got a, got this though. Choose artifact, philosophical book. On the start of the combat, generates one deep logic, and adds it to your hand till the end of combat. It costs minus one mana. What's a deep logic? Um, or I can get orb from it on your turn generates one deep logic and adds it to your hand until the end of the count. So I'll go for the orb. I think the orb is just usually giving me the better call, right? Maybe not, I don't know. I'm just curious. Take a chance to look at it, but we'll see later on. Alright, so I could do another combat, get a couple of uh little of gambling chips here. I wish I hadn't gone for this uh trait that my guy has here. That way I could showcase the uh, event rooms a little bit better, but you get the idea. You go in there Pick one of three chests, might, might get rewards, might be a trap or something. Just, just random events. Neat little things. Artifact Shopkeeper. Okay, this is another one here. Shopkeeper, we can uh, buy artifacts and we can also um, modify artifacts, which namely means you can turn them back and forth. You can take, I could take this artifact here, the magnifying glass, and orbify it. I can, you know, pay some money and turn it into an orb so I no longer get its bonus at the start of the turn. But if I get that orb and use it, Every turn after that, I will draw two orbs. It's like it's basically relic. You get less value, but you get it right away. Every turn guaranteed. Um, if you get an orb, 
you don't get the value right away, but once you get the orb and spend the orb, you get more value overall. So it's like a risk reward thing. Do you want immediate satisfaction at the start of the battle, or do you want to wait, spend some, maybe spend zero or one mana on the orb and then get more value later on? Kind of thing. And also, you can liberate where you can like reverse it. I can like take this, you know, oh, let's see, I decide I don't like it like this, and I want to have it back in, you know, relic form. I can spend some gambling chips to do that too. And we return. Mm, also, I can remove, if because there are negative artifacts in this game you can get, probably mostly from failing gambling things, um, and you can, like, remove it, spend some money, like, you can remove orbs and stuff and artifacts from these various shops, and we can buy artifacts. So we got here, fancy hat, the first two times an orb is equipped per turn, draw one orb. Drawing orbs is always good, that's a good choice, can't afford it though, because I'm a little bit light on gambling chips this run. I was doing better with gambling chips last run. Fog machine, the protective one, that's also good. And we have extra flames. I can't afford any of these. The first time an orb is burned per turn, add one mana. Also quite, that's also extremely good. I really wish, can I sell something? <laughs> that's so good. This is incredible because if you orbify it, and you and like once you use the orb, you get that every time. I use, that was, That's the item that made my last run like overpowered. I just don't have the money for it. No, <laughs> let me sell something. I can't sell anything here. Oh, that's tragic. Five more gambling chips. Wait, 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 wait. The combat, if I win this combat, I should get at least five gambling chips, right? Like 10, 20. Perfect. All right. All right. We make it work. We make it work. Um, you guys are going to come in with a lot of damage. I wish I could get my helmet on right off the bat. So 12, 19, 26, like 36 damage right off the bat. I'll, I'll block 30 of it, I guess. It's probably worth. Um, I wonder if I getting this wolf in my deck. We'll do this. We'll armor up. I'm sure I'll draw another one of these... I'm sure I'll draw another captured gemstone before the end here. Enunciate your words, CG. Um, I'm still not sure if it's better to, like, sword up and take him out or use a punch to take him out, because, you know, I can just punch twice and draw two more things, probably get a punch, or, I don't know. Um, do this. 11 damage. We'll scrap you, and we will um, take, for 11 damage, I can take out one of you guys. I think the punches might be better, or situational. Got you out of here. Um, more armor would be awful. Or just take somebody out. Um, I hit for six. Not enough to take anybody out. If I... Hmm, if I... If I scrap you and equip you, I have no mana left to use you. If I scrap you and use you, I might draw another punch. Scrap you. Use you on this. Hope to draw another punch. Unlucky. But this... Generates one deep logic and adds it to your hand to the end of combat. It costs minus one mana. I'm curious what this deep logic thing is. I'd love to find that out. And now we're out of juice. So we end turn. And we probably take a little bit of damage here, right? Wish I'd drawn a helmet. It would have been nice. They might... That would have really reduced how much damage they do to my uh, armor we built up there. Ouch. And they applied weak on us. A little weakness on us there. A little bleed on us there. Alright. And the, that's the bleed triggering. Here's the deep logic. What are you, deep logic? Draw two orbs, consume. Consume means it's basically just like removed from your, uh, you know, satchel of orbs for that for the battle. You get it back next battle. But that's still, I mean, orb draw is good. Although I feel like I might be limited how many. I'm not sure how many you can have in your hand at a time. So let's use some first. Oh, this is the strong attack. That's nice. Um, damage crystal deals seven, so that's gonna be eight. That's fourteen damage. I can just one shot somebody with this thing. Let's take out. Could have saved that for the doge. Get out of here, you. And... Um... Maybe we... Get you again there. Take you out. I could probably summon you if I want. Maybe we'll just win this right here. I don't, don't think we're going to summon you here. Like, you don't really need summons with this, uh... With the humans. It's like the other... Like the elves or the demons do better with summons. Um... Do I have the hollowing? Maybe. Draw two orbs, consume. Let's just do it. Hello, protected. Yes, please. Thank you. Now no, they can't hurt me. Let's go. So crazy with the punchies. I'm not even gonna, like. Think we're just gonna s smack them a bunch. Here we are. Ooh, look at that. And ooh, I want the I want the Doge. I do want the Doge. Um, bite. No, it's an it's an attack type. Apply three. So it's it's a five attack for one. No card draw, after no orb draw, but you apply three bleed, which would be an extra... Mm, 
a little extra damage. Um, take it. Okay, so some become creatures you can summon, some become like attack type things. It's interesting. Uh, we can scrap this and hit him with the bite. You can use it right away. It's actually pretty cool. Get bit. There we go. And there's a the game. 82 is not bad. Maybe those are worth fighting. A little gambling chip action. Love to see it. And now we can actually go in here and afford to buy that good stuff. I can't orbify that, I don't think. I really want this. Yes. First time an orb is burned per turn, add one mana. Buy this. Now if I can, can I orbify it, modify it. Can I afford it? I don't think I can afford it. Orbification, please cost 80. <gasps> I had it exactly enough. That's incredible. Because now it's right now it's the first time. So once per turn, I get a bonus mana for burning it. Once I use it in battle, every time I burn an orb, I get uh, an extra mana, which is it just it's incredible. It really it made that first run I did for practice like really good. So we like that quite a lot. We like that quite a lot, a lot. And now we do our gambles. No repetition. Win without using the same type, e.g. attack, summon, equip of orb twice in a row. Mmm. I don't know that I love that. Also, I don't have chips to lose. Backstab. I mean, I'm the only one in on the field most of the time, so that's fine. Win without using equip orbs. Mmm. It succeeded. Any random orb. Uh, I don't... I'm not sure I even want that one. I like my equip orbs. Um... Now, I think we're fine with just the just, uh, give them all backstab. I'll be fine. The, the rewards weren't even that great for those ones we're doing. I don't want to worry about all that. It's whatever. Maybe I could have done it. I don't know. Or don't want to spend too much time overthinking it. Um, do I, let's just... What's this one? Uh, magnetic crystal. This orb is handed, added to your hand on the first turn. I'm not sure why this has a, a crystal on it. Maybe I got it somewhere? I don't know. Or maybe it's like trying to like say, hey, use it soon. Um, yeah, we'll just scrap it for mana now. Mmm, got a lot of attacks coming in here. I think we probably should armor up here for that 10 armor and the 4 shield. And, uh, I keep hovering over expecting a tooltip to say shield. I'm like, is shield the right word? Or is it something else? I think it's fine. Um, these are the one attacks. We shall... The question is, do I want to punch twice or do this? Because you draw more by punching twice. I could do 12 damage and 2 punchies, which is... Enough to take most of you guys out. Is it better? I don't know. Mm, who's the big... I think you're a big damage dealer here. A little punchy. If I do... I'm not sure why I got... Oh, it's... it's. I keep forgetting to add it. It's 1 plus 6 is 7. Definitely should be punching. When an orb is burned, add one mana. Yes. So we burn this. Boom. Oh, we got 2 mana. And so that means... So... Those hits. Mm, you're attacking for 8. Get you. Draw again. Get you. Good value. Um, can't afford you anyways. Give me some goods. Mm, you're hitting for seven. Start working on you. And I guess I can tank myself up a little bit more. A little more armor. The tank stats effect doesn't matter much because, well, I'm the only one on the field anyways. So I'm not really summoning much. Should I should summon a little bit just to, like, show it off. But basically, the way the summons work is after I finish all my orb stuff and I click end turn, the enemies will do their attacks. And then my summons will attack them back. And it goes back to being my turn again. That's how that works. Um, just for science, does my shield stack? No. Okay, but it does re, re up my armor. Just want to just want to make sure. Uh, deep logic is like the orb cycle kind of thing. Do that. There's the bleed. I'm gonna do. I mean, it's a uh, it's ten damage. You can just one shot this guy, and the bleed won't even matter. Good value. I think you can just take this one out right here. Fantastic. We can use that for some mana and hit you with this. It'll draw another one because we attacked with nothing in our hands and do it again. And just like that, we rolled them. Fantastic. And we got a nice amount of chips for that. Appreciate that. Good value. The gambles are like really, like it's it's really important to like take the gambles to make your run better. All right, before we gamble with Steebax, I'm going to take a look at the Crystal Specialist here. See what we got available. All right, so... All orb. This orb is added to your hand in your first turn only. That's going to be pretty good for, um, like, some of the, the relic orbs. I think we really want that. We're going to buy this. Put it on one of these special ones. Which one do you want? Three protected. Starting off with three protected the first turn is not bad. Um, deep logic, no. Oh, definitely this one. Definitely want you right off the bat. R want you in our hand right away. Use you instantly. Um, equip orbs only, plus five attack while equipped. I'm actually going to do this. 
I'm gonna put on one of these helmets, I think, because the helmets can stay, tend to stay on longer than the weapons. As long as you don't take enough damage, the helmet stays on long until like your armor breaks, I think. Whereas the weapons, you kill one guy and it's gone. Add five armor to yourself. I mean, I'll take it. Put it on uh, maybe, the, maybe the bite. Yeah, why not? Put it on the bite, sure. And I'll be good. Got our little crystals to upgrade some of our orbs. And no need, I don't need to check my pouch. Uh, Steebacks, what you got for me? Um, I don't feel like I need any more captured gems. I haven't used all the ones I have. I do want to gamble. Uh, oh, unlucky. Prohibited coal. Can't be discarded. I have to like, pay something to remove it. What does this one do? At the end of your turn, banish one random orb from the player's hand. Oof, that's rough. Luckily, uh, usually it, doesn't it usually doesn't take too many turns to win. What does this one do? Um, ooh, 15 attack. Does cost two, but it's still not bad. All right, we'll take it. But yeah, that's, that's the gamble you take. Gambling with Steebax. Do we do it again? I uh, can't resist. What do we get this time? Hey, no negative orbs. That's good. We got four. Out of, uh, okay. Purification. Clean every status effect from target. Okay, that might be useful. Mm, 15 attack. Very nice. What's this one? Uh, quickly crafted spear. Human equip. One attack. Um, apply piercing to the target. On attack applies half damage dealt to all other enemies. Ooh, that's good. Then decreases piercing by one. So I attack. I want to say, uh, on attack, draw one orbs. And equip them. So it works the same as the other one. Less damage, but it, um... I'll, I'll do like six and then three to everybody else, like AoE. It's all right. Better if I had more attack on myself. Add a summon orb from your pouch your hand. Play one summon orb from your hand without cost. Consume. Um, I mean, I'll grab it just to have it, but I can always like just burn it for mana, I guess. Yeah, that's enough for you. And my gambles. Underpowered. Wouldn't that make your mana go higher than four? Mm. I mean, I, we can make it happen. Do a coin flip to start of combat. The result is heads. You win. So, two sleep to allies. Sleep, that's not great for us, actually. Random amount of chips. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna pass on that because it's late in the run. Early in the run, I might do that. Late in the run, no. Two turns of them attacking me for free is, or actually, they wake me up right away, but that's still like one turn of theirs beating on me for free. Um, every enemy starts the backstab skill. I'm, a, I'm okay with that. That's fine. And I think we're getting near. This might be the last fight before the, the first boss, or it might be one more. I'm not sure. Kind of wish you, you had some way of knowing. All right. Um, also, the devs uh, gave me a, a closed beta key. So, I mean, it's the same as the current demo on Steam, but when the current demo on Steam no longer is available, I still have access to the closed beta stuff. Fun times. Ooh, one of mine's... I want another... I already got two of these guys. I could, I could grab one of these guys if we don't use this for, for now. I can't, so I can't go higher than four, so I can have four. Um, can't go higher than four. We want this... Oh, I should have done this first, uh... Um, and we want this. There we go. What do you cleanse every stats? Any stats effects we care about on you guys? No, I think we. Uh, we want uh, this more. Ta oh, that's actually huge. More, we got 11 attack now. It's big money. Uh, yes, armor to ourselves. We we're forced to attack this guy. Do I want to armor up again? I don't know what I do. We want to hit you. Start working on you. Um, I don't need that right now. Do I want to armor? 10 more armor? How much did you guys, how attack me for? Uh, 7 minus 4 is 3, 6, oh, 14, uh, 16, it's like 16 damage? Uh, but you're gonna break, you're gonna pop my armor. Not allowed. We'll end turn here. We'll be okay. A little bleed on that guy. Locked, that's right. Alright. That's fine, let's sit here and watch them pound on us for a while, no big deal. But yeah, this game's actually pretty fun. I did play on the channel a while back. That's why Dev knew to send me a key, and it's actually it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, got this. Ooh. Mmm. Do I really need? I mean, oh, did I lose? Oh, is my bonus attack only for one thing, or did my like weapon break? I thought I had I had my bonus attack. I guess it was like only for a turn, or the weapon broke. I don't know. Um, I could take you out in one. It cost it costs two, but yeah, just just do it. There we go. Get you out of here. That little BAM! Every time, that, that, that big sound effect every time I take the bleed damage from attack is a little bit off-putting, but it's fine. Uh, drop two orbs, consume. I mean, why not? Mm, do I want to add 30 armor to myself? I mean, you probably should, right? And let's not take any, take any chances here. Um, I mean, might as well, like, 
play it safe and we can uh do oh I wanna do the I wanna do the the, the, the spear here. It'd be better if I had like the bigger the, the attack buff, but whatever. We'll put that on and we'll do some AoE. And I'll do eight damage. I can't take anybody out with eight damage, but I can Oh no you, I can take you out with eight and then do the remnant damage to them. It all adds up a little bit. Didn't do that. Didn't do that much. It's not that great, but it's something. Um there's end turn here. Alright, board clean up a little bit. What's up, fellas? Alright, you think you can get through my armor? I got 30 of it. Yeah, so the human class is just like the weapons and armor class. Summoning is just kind of like a, a, a kind, of, kind of an aside thing. Uh, we're protected? Seems great. We are, we are well defended here. You're not hurting us. More orbs? Sure. I mean, just to show you guys them on the board, because why not? Has loot. Why does he have loot? Um, punch? Yeah, let's go ahead and start putting the hurt on some of these dudes. Let me take that one out. So you got two armor. And uh, get this and just to use it because I can. There we go. And you know, I'm going to end turn and let the goblin do his thing just to, guys, just to show you. So the enemies take their turn. And then my goblin will get to attack after that. And sometimes they'll attack me. Sometimes they'll attack the goblins. Depends on if they have backstab or stuff like that. And you only did two damage because they had some armor or whatever. Um, let's go ahead and hit you a little bit of this. Nice little win. I think the boss battle might be next, or it's got to be coming up pretty soon here. Uh, three random orbs will appear. You can choose one. Nice. Contains unknown. All right. What we got here? Show me what you got. Ooh, hello. I haven't seen this yet. Hmm. Choose your reward. Deep logic. That's fine. Um... Nothing really blowing my mind here. I haven't, I haven't really played around with the, this automated stuff. Increases the amount of actions per automated stack. I don't understand what that really means. Um, we'll just get that one, since I don't know what the heck it is. Any of the... Oh, you can choose any of them? Oh, no, only one. Alright, we'll get that one. Not that I understand what the heck it means at all. On enemy turn, increase the amount of actions per automated stack. I don't know what that means. I guess I pulled, apply to myself, and then after their turn's over, I get more actions next turn? I don't know. Files, my actions based on mana. Did I check you already, Artifact Shop Lady? No, this is like... We just, we just finished the fight, right? I remember, yeah. What you got for me? I can... Oh, buy artifacts, yeah. Um, Add 20 has loot to every combat. Any, every enemy in the start of combat, which means... um Has loot means I get a little extra money from them at the end. Um, It's okay. This one right here, if I can... If I can, like, hover over it. Um, start of combat apply protected to random ally, which means, I, you know, protection from damage. This one. Hello? Can I hover on you? Thank you. Hello? Hey, bring her back. I wasn't doing this before. On the start of the combat, generates one deep logic as your hand. Like, these are all fine. Um, I feel like I might rather just modify. Oh, no, like, oh, I can, re I can remove. I can remove this, this bad one, right? Keeps banishing random orbs. Remove the bad one. Go away. Go away, bad one. Do I want to orbify that? No. Or maybe I do. Nah. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get this. It's it's free protection. Um, this, it's free loot. That's fine. It's all good. Seems okay. And what's our gambler here? Okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I was right. The, the, this next one is like the final battle of the demo, and it's the, like the boss battle here. You can choose uh, which one you want, so... Um, basically you're going to be fighting two guys at once in this next battle here. One's big, one's small. Um, apparently the, the devs like, hey, this is the, this is the rec recommended, uh, gamble to take. Take on, because if you fail this, you instantly die. So if like you kill a slim one first, but you pick this one, you die. You, you know, you got like, and if you really, really want to challenge, you can, uh, fight them both in the same round. Also you can choose, do you want Galtra's helmet or Gutrus's helmet, or do you want to get a gem chip or whatever? We'll just do this one. Just uh, do the easy recommended one, and uh, we'll go to it and give it a shot, because, well, the demo ends after I win this battle, so it doesn't really matter what reward I get. Um, so I'll show you the fight, and all right, we definitely want to get the thing for burning multiple mana. Uh, I'm not going to, I should have captured more people, I guess, whatever. Um, but yeah, these, these, these are the guys here, and, you know, it's, it, he's got tank, he's got Luke as my thing, uh, he's got backstab. I don't really summon guys that much that matters. I think I neglected showcasing some of the things like summoning in the event rooms, whatever. Ooh, the crystal. Um, but uh, you can always check out the demo for yourself while it's still free on Steam here, uh, briefly. Um, uh, on enemy. Uh, so, is that do it on myself? I can do it either. I'm going to do it on myself. 
So I don't I don't know what it does. I don't I don't, I don't understand it. Increase the amount of actions per automated stack. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. It's a confusing tooltip. Clean clean every stats effect from targets. You don't really have any targets I'm worried about, souls. Uh, get away get away from that for now. Mm, 15 damage. I think that's a good hit on you. He only has 100 health, it's, so 15 is not insignificant. Do we want to give you a weapon to start going ham? We don't have good orb cycle with the weapon equipped, but we hit for more damage, so it's kind of like a kind of pick and choose what you want, really. Now what you got up there, generate orb. These guys do special stuff. All right, he's banished, banished one of my orbs. Male human turns attack. I'm not sure it's not using my character's name. Might be a glitch there. Should be saying. It should say, uh, can't sins attack, but whatever. Game's still a work in progress. Um, I don't think the, the Cracked Spear's gonna be that useful here. I mean, I've already got a weapon equipped. Um, adding 30 armor to ourselves seems wise. I don't know what the, I guess the, the automated target, the automated thing is gone. I don't know where it went or what it did. Maybe it's better to use it on an enemy or one of your allies? I don't know. Um, deep logic? Sure. Do that. And I think I'll scrap that for power will hit you. Nine damage is not nothing. We'll do okay here and start working on it. Look at him. Already down to 39 health. We're doing great. We're doing great. Like that, that one thing that lets you like get more mana every time you burn something. Just it's huge value. Man, that guy hits hard. 25 damage is no joke. Use an orb. They apply two automated. So it seems okay, so they apply two automated, so that makes it makes me think you are supposed to apply automated on yourself. I don't want to, I don't know what it does though. I don't know what it does though. Um Draw more orbs? Sure. Um, armor? Yes, please. And tank? Uh, sure, sounds good. Ooh, I could actually um, I could scrap uh, this. I already have a sword on. Get myself a helmet. Throw some more armor and uh, put some shit on there as well. It's 15 for 2. Not sure which is better. Um, scrap this and hit you with this here. It's a nice hit. 23, good value. Scrap that. Or burn it rather. Need to uh, hit you with that. Oh, oh, oh. I, like, I like the sound effects they make. Oh, oh. All right, and you are looking not so great there, Galter. Oof, that's a good hit, but I got lots of armor. We got a we got a good build coming in. Banishing my orbs, rude. Just just because I can, I'm gonna summon my little goblin buddy and get some protected to a random ally ourselves. Okay, a shield. I could put more armor up. But What's this do? This, um, adds a summon orb from your pouch to your hand. I've already got them in there, so later. Mmm, protected? Why not? And draw orbs? Sure. Mmm, I think, well, I think you're just done in one hit. Let's take this guy out. There we go, you're done. Rage mode. Applied all kinds of buffs on themselves. They have piercing now, which means, um, they already have backstab, so they can just bypass a goblin and attack me. And they have piercing, which means they attack me half their damage will hit everybody else on the board too. They also have one instance of debuff immunity and protection, so if I hit them with a stats effect, they get free pass on it one time. Same with a, a attack. So hit them with a weak attack. That's a strong attack. Um, Alright, well, which is weaker, I guess, this one. To break their protection. Did you get the bleed on them? No, I guess they're protected from that too. Get them with a strong buff punch with a crystal in it. And, oh wait, I lost my, I lost my weapon. Not sure if it's better with or without the weapon. Also, you can, uh, just realize, um, just remember, you can equip. You can equip your dudes. You can, you can, you can put stuff on your dudes. Um, kind of want to put this helmet on. You, there we go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, look at him being protected, and he's got four shield now. And stay alive, goblin dude. You can actually armor up your little dudes, which is very cool. Armor your summons, give them helmets and shields, and, I mean, they got protection right now, so. Doesn't matter until that protection is gone, but that's pretty cool. I wish I could like capture these guys, but not really a thing. I'm not sure if I have. I do, do you just does this like some just keep like cycling back in? You can have multiple on. I guess so. I remember having multiple. Here, have a have a spear, and you have the source though, right? I think you do. We shall get scrap the energy. I will tank myself, I think, because I'm a durable boy. Get some more orbs in here. Blends every status effect from target. I mean, why not? Be gone, piercing. Haha, -ha, your piercing's gone. Nice. You get attacked. There we go. Get attacked again. We're doing great here. We end turn. Yeah, what do you got for us? What do you got? You gonna attack? You still have your backstab. I got the no damage. 
Get him, Lost Goblin. Bit. There we go. And oh, a lot of stuff here. Automated. I'm, I'm going to try putting on one of you guys, see what you guys do with it. I'm actually going to end turn some confident we're going to win. I just want to see what the Automated does. Does it like my Duke get to attack twice? I don't know. And they attack once. Uh, it does, so it makes my summons attack. Ah, my okay, I get it now. You cast it on a summon, your summons get to take their turn multiple, take their actions multiple times. And there we go. We got the helmet, generates a new orb, and all that kind of cool stuff. It's five three as well up there. Got some chips, and that right there is the end of like the first area. I imagine the game will probably have like maybe three areas or so per run. And that's the demo. Big fan. I think the game has great potential. Can't wait to see what the final product is like. And uh, yeah. Smash that like button if you like Gamble Tower and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go!